Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Um, I'm making the video today because there's been a lot of controversy lately about making these knockouts in Cricut. Um, Cricut has disabled the feature where you can right click and save a photo um, that's due to some legalities for them, so they've disabled that. But you can still make knockouts, and I want to show you how. I'm going to show you two methods. The first one I'm going to show you is using a smartphone app called Fonto. Uh, you'll need to download this on your um, uh, your iPhone or your Android. And right now I'm going to insert a quick video of how to use Fonto to make a shadow or an outline, which is how you're going to end up with your knockout. Um, this is an older video that I've made in the past, so this is you know not showing the Merry Christmas, but it will show you how to use Fonto. So I will go ahead and insert that video now, and then when we're done with Fonto, I will show you how to use Inkscape to do the same thing. And then you will click the little camera down at the bottom. You will click Plain Image. And then this is a plain white square. Go ahead and tap that. You'll click this Upload icon and click Use. Okay, so now we have a plain white square in the middle of our screen. Tap the square, tap Add Text, and add your text. Okay, I've got my name in there. I'll click Done. Okay, so there is my name. Now to get the shadow, we need to click Style right here. We actually want to turn our text white, so text is highlighted in gray. Click the white box. Okay, so you can't really see it anymore because we turned it white. So now go to Stroke and um, turn your stroke black. So click this black here. And you'll see that there's now an outline around the word. But we want that to be much bigger. So go to the bottom where it says Width and slide that up. And do it just however much you want your shadow to be. I think I'm going to leave it right about there. Click Done and then come down here and click this upload icon and save your image to your phone. Okay, now, oh, free app, so we have ads in here. We'll just wait for that to go away. Okay, that's done. Okay, now we want to get just the text, so come back to style. Um, you want to take your stroke back down, so come to stroke come to width and pull it back down. Okay, I am going to leave a little outline around my word just because this is a really, really skinny font. And if we do this stroke outline, um, it actually helps to thicken, up the, to thicken up the font so that the Cricut has an easier time of cutting it. Okay, so I'm going to leave that stroke there. I'm going to come to text. I'm going to turn my text black. And now I have my word just the way I want it. I'm going to click done. And I'm going to save this photo again to my phone. Okay, now I know when you were doing this, um, it probably pulled up in a very plain font for you. Um, it also probably asked you to access your um, photos and your camera. Make sure you allow all that access or you won't be able to do all of this. Um, and you can upload fonts from Defont right into um, Fonto. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna click out of Fonto. I'm going to come to my web browser. I'm going to go to defont.com, D A F O N T.com. And I don't know, I'm just going to do this mango slice just to show you guys, you know, how it works. So I'm going to select mango slice. And then I'm going to come over here. Let me make this bigger where you can see it a little better. I'm going to come over here to download. Now, if you already have Fonto on your phone, it's going to say Open in Fonto, which is exactly what we want to do. Not now, Fonto, but thanks. And then install the font. Go ahead and install. Okay, it says installed. It's in Fonto now. So, here I am back in Fonto. Going to click that. Going to go to Font. And down here you see, here's all of your system fonts if you click this little fonts on the left. And you can see there's actually a ton 
I mean, Fonto has a ton of fonts. Um, but if you come to my fonts, you can see everything that I have uploaded, and there is the Mango Slice. And it has done that in Mango Slice. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to the Cricut, or I'm sorry, back to the Cricut Design Space, and show you guys how to finish this up. Okay, so if you didn't want to use the Fonto app, I will show you how to use Inkscape, Inkscape to make the um, to make the offset or the shadow. So for Inkscape, you'll just go to Inkscape, download. It's probably going to be the first thing you click here, and this is what it's going to look like. You just download. And it'll um, give you the option if you have a Mac, if you have Windows, however you want to get that downloaded, you download that. Okay, so here I have it open. Your Inkscape may look different than mine. I have some custom features set up on mine. Don't worry about it. Um, any font that you have downloaded onto your computer will automatically come over into Inkscape. So what we need to do, these are just basic steps to create an offset, to create a shadow. Don't get too in depth into this, just follow these steps for a knockout. Come over here, select your text, type in what you want. Yours will probably be smaller than that. Um, when you're done typing your text, come back and click this arrow. You have to do that to be able to adjust anything. If you don't, you're still going to be in a text format and that's the second thing I should have mentioned. Let me undo what I just did. If you don't come up here and lock your screen, your scale, it's going to get all funny instead of just taking the whole word and making it smaller. Did you see what it did when it wasn't locked? It kind of kind of like made it skinny. So I'm going to come back and lock it. Okay. So here's the word I want to use, and I need to change this font. I'm going to come back over here into the text feature, and then come up here to my fonts. If I don't do that, if I stay up here in my selector feature where I can move things around, I don't have an option to change the font. So I come back in here. Come on. And I want this to be... The script, Christmas story script. Okay. So here's the word that I'm going to make the shadow on. Um, you're going to notice a few different things when you work in Inkscape. First of all, this down here says that my selection is text. You cannot save text into an SVG and have it transport over to Cricut. It won't work. This has to be a path. I know that sounds confusing, but it's real simple. What you want to do is come up here to path and then put your object to a path. And now if you look down here, I have a group of nine objects. I don't have text. And if you see, I'm clicking these. They are all separate. This is the nine objects it's talking about. They've separated my letters. And let me show you what that actually looks like. And you can see when I turn it into this kind of view, that if I were to leave it like this, the Cricut would cut into each letter. It's like not welding in Cricut. So to weld it, what we need to do is we need to select everything, make sure they're all selected. To do that, I just drug a box around it and it highlighted them all. Or you can click one. Come on. And then hold down your shift key and individually click all the rest of the letters to make sure they get all highlighted. Then you're going to come up to Path and Union. Now it's all one path. It's like welding it in Cricut. And you can see the little extra lines went away. I'm going to put this back to a regular view now. Okay, so that's the word that we want to create the shadow for to make our knockout. So what we do now that this is a path, and now that it's all welded together, we come up here to Path, scroll down to Linked Offset. Okay, you're going to see my cursor changed. It's because I'm working with nodes now, and nodes are what tell Cricut to cut. You're also going to see this little diamond. 
You can drag the diamond if you want. I do not prefer that method. It gets all crazy for some reason for me. So what I do is I hold down the control key as long as I have my um, skinny cursor and my diamond. I hold down the control key and then I hit the right parenthesis as many times as I want to get this a thick shadow. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. I'm coming back up here to my selector tool. If I keep it in the nodes, weird stuff's gonna happen in here, so come back to your selector tool. Okay, you're gonna see now you have two parts. This is the word that we're eventually going to be cutting with our Cricut. This is the shadow we're using to make the knockout. Um, you see this little open spot in here? To get rid of it, I want you to come click Path and Break Apart. And it actually takes out all these little um, extra nodes that you can't see, but your Cricut would be cutting. It's going to take these all out. Then don't click anything else while you're in there. Just come back to Path and Combine. Oh, I'm sorry. Path, Break Apart, Path, Union, not combine. <laughs> okay, and now all the little spaces are filled up. Um, I'm going to leave that black. I'm going to come click on this one. I'm going to turn it red down here. I'm going to put these two together. I'm just using the arrow keys on my um, keyboard to line that up where I want it. Okay, so that's our shadow that's going to make the knockout and then the word that we're actually going to cut with our Cricut. Again, um, just select everything, come to Object, and Group. That's just the same as grouping it together in Cricut, so now it's all one thing. You want to shrink it down to the size of your page here. And then come to File, Save As. It's going to save as an Inkscape SVG. You just name it what you want. Save it where you want it. And that's done. Come back into Cricut. Okay. I'm going to hide this so that I can show you how I did all of this from beginning to end. I'm going to turn my canvas back white. I'm going to put my grid lines back on. Okay, so text. Mary. And this font, um, I, don't, I don't even know what that is, but that's what I've used. Um, I did a, a few little things to it, though. I didn't like the spacing, really, so I ungrouped it. And I moved this R in closer and this Y in closer. It's the wrong way. I move that E and this M. Move that one more time. Okay. Then I can attach all of that back together. Actually, I'm going to weld all of this together. Okay. So there's the Mary. Now I'm going to come and upload that file. So go to Upload Images and go find the SVG you saved from Inkscape. We name it Christmas. There it is. Okay, and it's ready to go. You just hit save and it will pull it into design space. Okay, so I'm going to click this. I'm going to insert this image into my project. There it is. Okay, so you play around with it a little to get the right spacing. I've unlocked Mary. I want it to be a little bit longer and take Christmas, shrink it down some, put it in here, let me unlock that. I'm going to turn Mary a different color so that I can really see the shadow. Let me turn it, I'll go ahead and turn it green. Okay. Some things you're looking for when you're placing this. You don't want to have like there's a teeny tiny bit of the R right there. You don't want to have that if at all possible. There's another teeny tiny bit down there. You want to try to avoid having those little bits because they're just going to fall off when you cut it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. 
but I'm going to come, I've highlighted everything. I'm going to come to a line. I'm going to center it and it recentered for me. Okay, so I'm still left with this little, little bit right here that I don't want to mess with later. So I'm going to select my middle part and shift it up a tad. That might be okay. This, eh, hold on, let me move it back down. Okay, I'm going to leave that little bit there and I will just contour it out or just remove it when I'm actually cutting. All right. Now I've got my word that I imported from Inkscape. I'm going to ungroup it. Remember, we grouped it in Inkscape. I'm going to pull out the red. So now I just have my shadow. Whoa, just kidding. Sorry, hold on. There we go. I have my shadow and my word. I'm going to select everything here. I'm going to slice. This can go away. This can go away. And this can go away. Okay. Now this is what I was talking about. You have these little extra pieces in here. If you want to get rid of them, um, select your word and come down here to contour. And you can just click them out. That's probably the only one I'm going to get rid of. These two are still connected to the bigger part, so... Okay. All right. Now I put my word back in here. How was this? There it was. There's your knockout. That's it. You're all done. You would uh, make it. And it's going to cut out Christmas. And then it's going to cut out your word that's all knocked out. And that's all there is to it. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to message me. You can uh, message me on YouTube. You can send me an email to crystal at crystalscrafties.com. And I'm happy to help you out. Thanks so much.